One of the benefits of buying an older RV is that you get a much better value for your money. The downside to that is that, well, it just doesn't look new anymore. You've got faded decals, particularly on these older ones that don't have full body paint. These are all decals. And over the years, they've faded a little bit, they've cracked, and they just don't look as nice as we want them to. So today I'm gonna to try out two different products that have been recommended to me and see if maybe these are the products that will actually make our 2004 decals look like a 2017 paint job. Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is Miles and Smiles. My plan is to take a little inconspicuous spot in this case, I'm going to do it right behind our awning struts and put on these products and then come back in a week or so and see how things look. The first product that I'm going to try is Rejuvenate Restorer Wipes. I got these at, uh, at Home Depot. They're not cheap, but uh, if they do everything that they say they do, there's going to be a pretty good deal. Uh, they say that they restore rich, deep color on vinyl, plastic, stone, fiberglass, metal, and more. But what will they do on RV decals? Okay, so this is kind of nice. The wipes, I expected to see something that was going to be, you know, paper or like a wet one, but this is actually a very small little uh, microfiber cloth. And I'm going to do a little bit up here on the gray and a little bit on the dark green. And that's it for now. I could do more, but I don't know how it's gonna turn out. And uh, fortunately, there are quite a few wipes in the package. So if they work, then I'll be able to use the other wipes to do the rest of the RV. The second product is 303 Speed Detailer. Uh, it's an aerospace detailing protectant product powerful UV protection. And I'm going to apply that right here to the left of our um, refrigerator vent. So I sprayed it on and already I got a problem because it really runs and it's going down the side beyond where I want it to be. So I'm just going to try to get in here. And I will say initially, initially it looks really nice. Just to be fair, so that I'm looking at both of them the right same way, I put some of the Rejuvenate to the left of this, but on exactly the same decal, I put some of the 303 to the right of it so that I can compare them side by side. Well, the products we tried on the decals have had some time to clean and dry, and uh, as you can see, they look good, but they frankly don't look great. But I got an idea. Today, I'm gonna to try something really, really dramatic. I'm gonna try water. So here's what the decals look like to start with. And all I've got is one of these green scrubby sponges. Now let's let that dry and see how it looks. Now that's what I'm talking about. Even without the other product, it really looks a lot better. I tried some more down here. See the dividing line? It's cleaned with water and a scrubby sponge? The way it used to be. Scrubby sponge? The way it used to be. I think I've got a process here and uh, well, let's see if I can just Get them all done. One interesting thing is that the different colors of decals seem to have a big difference in how they oxidize. The gold or tan colored decals, really not getting that much off of. The black, I'm getting quite a bit, but it's not super dramatic. But the gray decals, oh my gosh, take a look at what it looks like when I am scrubbing one of them. Yeah. 
So this is the way it looks after being scrubbed down. The difference is enormous already. And uh, one thing is interesting is that where I had applied product before, which is right here, you can see that I couldn't get all of the product off. So I'm hoping when I put more on, it will cover it up and it'll be like putting clear coat on and uh, making it shine again. But this looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna come on and put on the product and uh, let's see how that goes. I was wondering how far one of these little pads would go and the answer is a little more than halfway up the side of the RV. I've got three more left after this one so hopefully it'll be enough for me to do the whole thing. If not, well I don't have to finish it today. I can always come back later. All right, I ran out of time yesterday. It was too hot and the uh, parts of the RV that I needed to clean were in full sun. So I uh, called it a day, drank some sports drink, and headed home. So now, part two. All done, a couple of coats of the Rejuvenate. And uh, I gotta say, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. There are, uh, are some spots that are clearly not new and they're not gonna be restored just by cleaning them and sealing them, like on the, like on the door here. It's just that the decals have really degraded too much. But the places where the decals haven't degraded, I've been able to get the uh, oxidation off of them, the old wax that somebody probably put on there. And uh, I'll tell you the truth, they came out pretty well. I am really, really pleased. And for about $25 worth of rejuvenate pads, a couple of uh, green-backed sponges, and some water, this looks like a much, much newer, much prettier RV. Now all I gotta do is uh, clean the rest of it, get the paint cleaned off, and it'll be, it'll be fantastic. Well, it's a simple little project, but it's one that I did so much research. Nobody could tell me how to do this, and uh, eventually just started trying things and found out what was gonna work. I'm Jeff. Hope you have great time doing your projects. Remember, life's a journey. Make every mile count.